One of the greatest attractions of Eleuthera is finding secluded, remote beaches with waters that show off all the shades of blue you can imagine. Empty stretches of sand like these give you the feeling of going off the grid. And none of those beaches is more beautiful or remote than Lighthouse at the southernmost tip of the island. To get there, you have to drive from all points north down to Bannerman Town, where pretty soon the road turns unpaved for the last couple of miles. Well, we're on the last stretch of road. It's not good road, but we're on this for three miles to Lighthouse Point, and then I believe it's a two-mile hike from there. The dirt road was much shorter than I expected, and we were there in no time. Well, it's a little different situation than we were expecting, actually. You park, and the beach is actually right here. Now, the beach in front of the parking lot is gorgeous, and I could have spent all day here and had a great time. But to reach the fabled point, you've got to do some walking. So the beach trail is an actual walk on the beach for a couple of miles. We're probably a half a mile in right now. We'll get a better look at what's on the other side when we get around this little point. A walk like this for me is nirvana, but I guess there are other ways to reach the point. Hey, little buddy, better look both ways before crossing the sand. After about 40 minutes, we reached our destination, Lighthouse Point, and it was even more beautiful than we'd imagined. To get the whole picture, keep going. A little rope hike here. As you get higher, you begin to get the sense of anticipation as the horizon opens up, and the reveal is stunning. The saying, and more will be revealed, comes to mind when you come up above this point here. Beautiful. This is the very tip of Eleuthera, and it offers the chance to experience both bodies of water surrounding the island, with the waters of the Atlantic coming into contact with those of Eczema Sound. This beach is so beautiful all along the way, it's tempting to just set up camp and get in the water and start snorkeling but boy this payoff at the end is world class that boat ramp over there tells me it's not going to last forever these limestone cliffs overlook crystal clear waters that contain a vast rich biodiverse reef system and it was here that we had the best snorkeling experience of our entire trip oh uh, this is this is terrible i mean having my own beach that's just ridiculous really <laughs> we hit the water, exploring reefs that seem to go on forever. There's a pretty good variety of colorful fish, sea fans, and coral here. But what really makes Lighthouse interesting is this seemingly endless area to cover. Eventually, we stumbled on one of the most exhilarating undersea experiences I've ever encountered when we came across this bait ball. A bait ball is when thousands of smaller fish gather in a swirling sphere in an attempt to avoid being eaten by a predator. You never know what or how large that predator may be, so when this giant barracuda showed up, I breathed easy. They may look fierce, but they rarely give humans trouble. A pretty cool moment became a mind-blowing experience when the bait ball went on the move, and when you're in the middle of it, it's like that scene in Star Wars where the Millennium Falcon goes into hyperspace. Only you're under the sea and the stars are fish. Snorkeling here at Lighthouse Beach is good and plentiful. There's, there's tons of coral out there and it's pretty healthy. Lots of brain coral and blue coral. There's so much here that eventually you're going to see something spectacular. So I highly recommend getting in the water here. <laughs> 